going to use a slightly different project where I'm going to work on just a piece of smooth MDF with a deep brown ground on it and we're going to look at painting this picture of the uh, cockerels from the hen behind. You see we've got a nice selection all ready to work from. I like uh, drawing a coloured pencil and we're going to use again a simple set of acrylics and uh, gradually build up our paints by using layers across this um, dark ground getting darker and darker and lighter and lighter, working out towards the mid-tones and finally finishing up with our lightest colours. So I want to work a sort of vignette around here, darker at the edges, getting lighter into the middle. What I'm going to do straight away is take one of my larger brushes, and it is a standard way to work actually, that we can work from our, our, our largest to our smallest brushes, and work very dark at the edges here, put a, just a thin coat of um, black acrylic, in this case I'm going to use some black, cross this all the way across here and make a sort of vignette, a dark vignette coming into this painting all the way around, letting that brown glow through. I've got quite a lot of black in the, uh, the birds as well, it should work quite well. So again, as always, I should be working from the looser paint towards the the techniques towards the um, more tight and detailed at the end of the painting. Just letting that brown glow through this almost glaze effect at the minute. Right up to hit the edge here, painting the paint a bit thinner. And letting that brown glow through. And as it dries, it will lighten up a bit again. And I might even be able to put a second coat on. And I should come across with lighter paint over this later. I want to build up this effect of chiaroscura, of light and dark. And as it's going to sink into the board, uh, the darks will come out again when we put varnish on later. And it will uh, bring these colours right out again. Prussian blue, Let that come over the top glowing through these tail feathers. So we get this light against dark as it comes on. The thing almost disappears. Black tail on the bird here. Put a dark coming around her wings. corner again, give it a second coat of black just to bring it in a bit darker at the corners. Even though it's going to sink in, I know it's going to sink in. I'll start to just find some of the darker colours in the big cockle in the background, his tail feathers. Just to indicate where things are so that as I go along and build up the colours I'm not going to get lost. And the blue of the blue grey of the bird, the hen bird down here. So working up from my darks in the background. And then onto the uh, ground itself where we can start to indicate a feeling of light also around the, uh, the background. Light just shining across here a bit. Just blending it in to this chiaroscuro, this light and dark so that it's got a shadow coming across softly. Before we start putting any details let's work out these colours just subtly. It's a very subtle lighting going on. Same going on here. Got a bit of light blue coming into this drinker here. And a bit more blue around the belly of the cockerel here, coming right up the background of this colour. The colour will sink in more, so I'm going to let it sink and blend down into here. Gradually picking up these colours and replacing them over and over again with layers of 
the darker colour as it then becomes as it then soaks into the board it will become lighter. It's going to, going to dry in strange effects at first. You can see that it's going to be very light and very pale. Not to worry. So now I'm taking a little bit of cerulean blue and adding it into my base here. This is a sort of strange negative feel as we paint this because we're actually just painting in the negatives of the darks. Anyway, around the edge of that drinker. Come with a bit more care later, I just want to get the basics worked out at the moment, just to catch a bit of light here and there. And the same is going to be happening with the background a bit, a bit here. We're going to use the water in a minute and, and just link this in. As if the sunlight's just coming through and catching around these birds. Wooden run behind there. Um, just use a bit of water to glaze things back in, soften them back in a bit. Link them into here. We did a bit of dry brush work just now. Now I'm going to come back in with a bit of water and a bit of blending. Just soften things back in before they're completely dry. And let that just dry off a bit now. And we can come back and start a more detailed painting of the cockerels. darker but still lighter than our um, Prussian blue that we're using just now but it'll just give a bit more brightness and vibrance and colour to this it'll sink in gradually as well it won't just stay as sharp and bright as it is now just feel the way across these feathers you want to get this glow of these beautiful cockerel's tail feathers going on I'm going to gradually build them up across here. We'll add some yellow to start to make it more green. But these lovely turquoise green feathers coming up the back just feeling them painting the whole feathers in at the moment but catching the effects of light as they come across the surface these lovely colours we can get letting these lighter ones glow against the dark of the background which is why I painted that dark background in first of all so that I would have this glowing effect going on. Keep bringing these little coats of light onto here to build them up, build them up and then the dark will just glow through underneath. We should get this beautiful effect of the feathery textures of the uh, cockerel. Just have to add a little bit of white to that colour now as well to try and really pick out some of the highlights of the feathers as we get lighter and lighter. We just let these cockerels come out of the dark almost at us, just glowing. Leave that and come back down to here, this bit of uh, this feeder, this drinker around the back, sorry. And uh, let's just feel some of those colours going into there. Just scumbling them over the top to feel the corroded bit of old tin that's underneath here. Just letting the surface 
peeling that surface out of the darkness here. I don't find that chicken, that cockerel's leg just there. Scales on it. Much, much lighter as it comes up into here. And again, we'll feel a little bit of yellow on there for the sunshine. Play our cools against our warms. Light behind here now, brighter on that cockerel's leg, just catching again. Little bits of colour at the moment, just feeling our way. While it's on the brush, use it. Just little marks, fluffy feather marks to gradually build her up. So that we appear to be sucking them out of the surface of the canvas almost, don't we? And then this cockerel's feathers here, which are much lighter, against the dark of the other one behind. And with these little short brush strokes we can get the feeling of the cockerel. in there. And I'll put in a little bit of the pink here into her face. Well, I've got that pink on the brush. start looking for these colours because we want to use, we want to get the beauty of these cockerels. And that's a lot of our cools done. So we are going to have to pull together a few more of the cools in the background here on this hen I think. Just a little blue up. Come in a bit more detail on her later. Just for the moment we just want to feel surfaces. Now we start to build up the warms. Let's put some of the deep yellows on first. Some lovely golden yellows down here. See how we're drawing, dragging this picture gradually out of the surface. We're going from our, our darker, our mid-tones, into our lighter tones. We're not rushing straight in with the bright oranges. They come at the end. First we just want to make a oneness, a feeling of unity in the painting. These cock hackles coming across. Short strokes, just like the hackles actually are.
building up and building up and every layer I put on the colour becomes a bit stronger. see the cockerel appearing out of the gloom, all these reflective colours going on. We're nowhere near finished yet, we're still building up these colours. come to the very bright colours, the stronger colours. At the very towards the very end of the painting as we're building up these last glazes. And we really want the colours to work and shine out. the colours sink back in so I come back and just flick in a little more here and there. Now just come back with some of the darks that we started off with just to try and soften some of the things back in again in fact. This chicken here for instance has some darker feathers coming down here. And that will gradually soften into the background now. We'll come back to the uh, the cockerels too. If they need any dark anywhere else, which they do. A bit down here. I need to go down to a finer brush to start finishing off our details. Little bits of colour like this now, playing the wall against the cool. Here I'm using a very light blue just to pick out the reds and give a bit more sheen to the cockle himself. I only one or two of these little bits of light blue amongst his feathers too, just to bring out the the opposite colours. Now then we've got a, a drinker here which we haven't actually finished in detail. Just bring a little bit more detail into this. finished piece. I think we could do with just taking down that background a bit more. I'll we'll just put a bit more glazing over there just to darken it. Just let her come out of the depths a bit more. Oh, I'm just going to go back to my, my larger brushes and just indicate the foreground a little more. A little bit more yellow orange back into there. I'll soften it in just a moment. I just want to uh, bring back the feeling of a surface which we've lost a little bit. I'm 
this glaze some of this mauve in a touch. Just want a bit more, a bit more colour going on down through here. A few last bits of colour in just to brighten things up, eh? These highlights that can make such a difference at the end of a painting. And bring forward this business of the chiaroscuro, the light and dark that I was trying to get the effect of originally, if you remember, from the very start of the painting. A few little bits of light just to catch. I think we've about done. I'm not going to do much more on that. I just touch a few darks here and there, but that's about it. Right, I can carry on working and put more and more detail. But actually, you know me, I don't want to. So I'm going to leave it at that. Just put a very light signature down here in the corner. I think I'd like a little bit more indication of um, form here. There's not a lot going on in the background there, and I just like to put a bit more. There's something happening back here, you know, it's not a lot.